Is the name Barack Hussein Obama found in the Bible? There's a lot of people asking this question, a lot of YouTube videos, people trying to say Obama's the Antichrist, Obama's the Antichrist. But I've yet to see one YouTube video that asks this question, is Barack Hussein Obama, his name found in the Bible? So let's take a look at each one of the words of his name and find if actually each one of those words is found in the scripture. So the first one is the word Barak. Barak, the Hebrew form of Barak is Baruch. Baruch Atai Hashim Adonai, bless the name of the Lord. So Baruch means bless. But in the Bible, I typed into my search engine, Barak, spelled this way, it doesn't show up in the Bible. But if you take away the K and you spell it B-A-R-A-C, well guess what? Oh, excuse me, B-A-R-A-K without the C, guess what you find out? You do a search in the Bible search engine, and the word Barak shows up 13 times in 14 verses. That's interesting. A lot of people say, oh, 13, that's an unlucky number. Yeah, sure enough, unlucky number 13. So the word Barak, and it's spelled differently but pronounced the same, Barak shows up 13 times in 14 verses, and the word Barak supposedly means blessed in the Arabic, Arabic language. Well, how about the name Hussein? Well, I'm on my search engine here, and I, I type in Hussein, and guess what? The word Hussein doesn't appear in the King James Bible. So I started looking and trying to find what does Hussein mean? And some people say Hussein actually means the good one. Others say Hussein means the anointed, anointed one. I've heard people say that the word Hussein means Christ. But I've yet to find a source in the internet or on paper that says that. I've just heard that through word of mouth. So please investigate and please, if you can find that, let me know. But Hussein means the good or the anointed one. Well, in the Bible, there's one called the anointed one. And he's called an anointed cherub. And in Ezekiel 28.14, hmm, this is interesting. In Ezekiel... 28.14, we read these words in speaking of Satan, which we know is Lucifer. Well, let me read Ezekiel 28.14 to you. It's speaking of, of the devil, which we know is Satan. And it says, right here, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. So he's anointed. And I have set thee so, thou wast upon the holy mountain of God, thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the fire. So, it's talking to, to Lucifer, and God is talking to him and said, You are the anointed cherub that covereth. Well, if Hussein means the anointed one, then, then we find the word anointed in the Bible, in Ezekiel 28, 14, and the context is not good. The context is of the devil. And, you know, I don't want to go too, too in-depth in this video, but for those that don't know, Satan was a cherub. And in the Bible, before Satan fell... The Bible says he was the anointed cherub that covereth. So God sat on his throne, and God allowed Lucifer to sit up here, the cherub that covereth. And the Bible tells us there were five, uh, four other cherubs. There was Michael, the archangel, or the cherub, Gabriel, and there are two others that are never mentioned in the Bible, but they are mentioned in Jewish historical books. Now, I don't know if they're true or not. I only believe the Bible. But they say there was one named Raphael. And they say the other cherub, or um, archangel, was Uriel. So, according to the Bible, there were cherubs, um, and the anointed cherub on top was the devil, or Lucifer. Now, he wasn't called the devil. His name was Lucifer until he fell. Well, how did he fall? Well, when Lucifer, or Satan, fell, he left heaven. And to this day, don't you know that Satanists worship an upside-down star? That's Baphomet. And they draw their little goat in here, and these are the horns. But it's interesting that this is the way God had it originally. Satan was up here. And it was like a star, and then Satan fell down, so the star inverted. Interesting. So just something to think about. So the anointed cherub that covereth is connected to Lucifer who the Bible called the anointed cherub, and the word Hussein means the good, anointed, handsome Christ. Interesting. 
Maybe there's something there, maybe there's not. Maybe I'm just making something up. But let's look at the last word, Obama. Is the word Obama in the Bible? Actually, it is. Let's look up, um, let me find it real quick. I have it written down, but I'll go ahead and type it into the search engine. B. And it comes up in Ezekiel 20, 29. So the word Obama actually means from high places. And in Ezekiel, let me look up the verse again, Ezekiel 20, 29, we find the word Bama. It doesn't have the O, but it's the same root word, Bama, with an H on the end. Hmm, well, what does it say? Ezekiel 20, 29 says these words. I hope you're ready. Ezekiel 20, 29 says, Then I said unto them, What is the high place whereunto ye go? And the name thereof is called Bama unto this day. So, the high place. So, the word Bama means high places, or heavenly places, or on high. And I did another video, and on that video I talked about what the name of Barack Hussein Obama means. Barack means blessed. Good, anointed is what Hussein means, and Obama means from high places. Barack also means lightning. Hmm, that's interesting. So in Luke chapter 10 and verse 18, let me go there quickly, type it into my computer here. I um, can find it faster usually. Luke 10, 18, we have a verse, and a lot of people say, well, this verse talks about Barack Obama, because all three of his names are found in this verse. Luke 10, 18, and Jesus says, and he said unto them, Jesus speaking to his disciples, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. <laughs> I beheld Satan, the anointed one, Hussein, as lightning, Barak means lightning, fall from Bama, fall from the high place, or fall from heaven. Huh. Well, I don't know, but I think it's interesting that people will connect the dots and say that Obama is indeed the Antichrist. I don't know. I'm not going to say he is. I'm just going to wait and see. But it is interesting. There's a lot of people out there who believe that Barack Hussein Obama is indeed the Antichrist prophesied in the scriptures in the book of Revelation. Also in Daniel chapter 11. If you want an interesting study sometime, go to Daniel chapter 11 and read about what it says that this conquering ruler will do. Because in Daniel 11, there's some things that sound an lo awful lot like what Obama did. Daniel 11 mission mentions that whoever the guy is, he's going to bring down the king of Egypt. Well, there was a king in Egypt named Barak, and he's been kicked out by the Arab Spring. Hmm. It says uh, in Daniel that the king of the north shall trouble him. Well, the king of the north is Russia, and Putin is causing Obama a lot of problems this day. Syria is mentioned in Hebrews 11, and we know all about Syria and Benghazi and what's going on there. And there was one more, well, I can't remember, Egypt, uh, I believe Iraq. So there's a lot of things in the book of Daniel that appear to be taking place, prophecies today, from this man. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out and let you look that up. Is the name Barack Hussein Obama in the Bible? Well, Barack is there 13 times. The word Hussein doesn't show up, but the word anointed does, and it's connected to this guy. Of course, it's also anointed to Jesus Christ. He is the anointed, the true Christ. It's funny how people today want to call Obama a Christ. Matter of fact, he's been called the God of forces. And he's been praised as though he were a God. Hmm, interesting. But the word Bama, if you take off the O, appears also in the Bible. So those are places that the, the word Barack Hussein Obama or Bama shows up in the Bible. I hope this was an interesting study for you. If you liked it, hit like. If you didn't, uh, well, hit like anyway. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Have a good day.